Hi, hey, it's Sexy J. Today's Quick and Dirty is about the new digital SAT. So you guys know it's going to be this March for international students. I hope, you know, international students, you're watching us. And for US students, it's in 2024. But it's still very relevant for you sophomores and even juniors because what I'm going to cover today is how does it actually matter for test takers, okay? I don't really care about what College Board um, claims that the difference in the tests are. What are the different types of questions? How do you have to study differently? And what kind of skills and aptitudes are better suited for this test versus the old SAT or the current SAT or even the ACT, okay? So this video will help you decide which test you should prep for. And also, if you do decide to study for the uh, new digital SAT, what resource should you use? I'm gonna tell you that at the end of the video, okay? So here is, I'm gonna scroll way up to the first page. Scrolling, okay, well, not literally the first page, that was a bad call. Okay, so this is the basic background information, guys. You guys can pause the video or go to College Board and read it about how many questions, how many minutes. I don't really care about those things. The gist of it is you have to take it online, you have to go to the testing center while on a computer, and it's gonna be shorter. Okay, the whole test is about two hours and 14 minutes, as opposed to the three hours that it is right now, and you have more time per question. Okay. Now, there are a lot of other claims that it'll be more secure. Will it be? I don't know. You will get your test results uh, more quickly, though, because this will be digitalized. Okay. So that stuff doesn't matter, really, for us, because you can get that info anywhere. You can Google it. You guys are probably better at Googling than I am. Okay. At least you guys should be, right? Okay. So the contents, there we go. That's what I was looking for right here. Oh, let me address all the myths first, okay? I've heard a lot of myths about this test, okay? That it's going to be easier, okay? Whenever somebody tells you a test is gonna be easier, that means, I was about to curse, that means nothing. That's garbage, okay? Because number one, let's say if it was easier, then everybody scores better, okay? So let's say you were second out of 20 people. Now everybody scores higher, you're still second out of 20 people. How does that make any difference? It doesn't, okay? And also, is it easier because it's shorter? You think SAT is going to do that? No, okay? So if the score is out of 1,600 and the average is about 1,000 or 1,100, they need to keep the average about the same, okay? So the difficulty is not really going to change. However, it'll be easier for certain people and harder for certain people. What kind of student are you? Let's um, share the information. So this is the official SAT vocab in terms of what is being tested. Okay, the reading and the writing have been combined to one section. Okay, it's one module, first module. Okay, so I told you guys, I'll tell you at the end of the video, but I'll tell you guys right now, the most accurate thing as to what the new SAT, the digital SAT is like, is obviously number one, the four practice tests on College Board. Okay, number two, the test that I'm making right now. Okay, which you know I'll give some away. Okay, they're really, I'm working hard on those. Okay, and number three, if you guys want a bigger resource that you can get at any time, AP Lang Multiple Choice. Okay. AP Lang multiple choice, unlike AP Lit, um, test grammar, writing, and reading all in one test, okay? So that is the most similar. And I have noticed that College Board has pulled what they use for AP Lang into the new digital SAT, because I've looked at all the new digital SAT practice tests, okay? So that's where you could get your resource. Now I'm going to go to the test that I made for you guys. I even tried to match the font and everything. So this is the exact same format as what's on the nonlinear paper version of the digital test on College Board. That sounds like a weird thing, a paper version of the digital test. It's the same thing as the practice test on, that they are providing, okay? So I made my own because it's better this way, okay? So number one, guys, um, College Board has their official terminologies, but I'm just gonna tell you guys, we have the return of the vocab questions, okay? Vocab. These are straight up vocab questions. It is not like the vocab and context we had in the current SAT. This is just, you have to know the definition of the word, okay? So if you guys are old enough to remember like the old, old SAT, I'm talking about like the mid 2000s or before that. SAT used to have a dedicated section for vocab. This came back, okay? So the first reading is going to be vocab. And you guys can see here, if I go down a little bit, um, yeah, around here. So number six, you guys see renouncing, repudiating, deferring, remonstrating. That is definitely a higher level of vocabulary than what is currently on the SAT. So you will have to study vocab, okay? Um, so that's going to be uh, done. And then this is the example of uh, a cross between a reading and a writing. So you get this little paragraph. I even wrote these paragraphs for you guys, right? And then they ask, what is the purpose of the text, okay? So instead of a long passage, you get individual passages. So we had the vocab questions, and now we have these, the purpose of the text, and we have a bunch of those, okay? And the ones with the underlines, and I'll 
you guys can go to College Board and check out these things for yourselves. The things with the underlines are pretty similar to what is on the writing text right now. These are going to be rhetorical and grammar. And don't worry, you guys, I'm going to make a video for every single one of these new question types for you guys in the Quick and Dirty series. So keep an eye out for that. Okay. Um, yeah. And if you look here, again, I'm going to get into all of these in detail. The test right now is not easy. I'm just going to say it's not easier, okay? It's shorter, yeah, and you get more time. But if they give you more time, that's because it's harder. That's it, okay? If you guys examine this, I even have to write this novel, mini novel for you guys, right? It has literary analysis at a level that SAT currently does not do, okay? So this would be about SAT um, literature that they got rid of or AP literature. So they go much deeper into it. So they have the literary analysis. They even have poetry. I even wrote that poem. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm going to stop saying that. I wrote all of these, okay? And then you see this right here? This is very similar to the ACT science, actually, if you guys do those. You're going to have to look at tables and charts and go, which one of these data will best back up your point? So that's another thing that's different, okay? Another table, okay? We have a bunch of tables. And now towards the latter half-ish, or latter third, actually, of the um, English section, you get more grammatical stuff. Oh, this part is easier. So notice I said the test itself isn't easier because it's going to balance out. So I just said the things are more difficult, right? The grammatical concepts are much simpler. They're much more straightforward. So that kind of balances out the fact that the reading is harder, okay? So we have the grammar stuff, really the punctuation, very, very straightforward, okay? And, uh, oh, and then this is a totally new type of question. I'm going to devote an entire new um, video to it. So it's, they give you, this guy has taken these notes, okay? So how would I use those notes for an essay is a very um, new question. I'm still working on a label for it, guys. You guys might want to pause the screen here and look at that. Is this something that I would like to do? It was a very easy way to tackle it, but again, I'm going to do a whole new video for that. So that's it for this section that I've made. Again, I even uh, matched the font, okay? So there are a bunch of new questions. Let me just summarize for you guys. Uh, what are the new questions? So we have vocab, okay? We have literary slash poetry, okay? And then we have tables and much more data analysis. The grammar stuff, it's about the same, it's just simpler. And then we have research uh, utilization, let's say. That was the last one. So it's like, okay, I have this info. How would I use this to make an argument? And that's a very, very different thing. Honestly, I have not even seen that on the AP or any of the college board tests or ACT. So it's very new. So that's um, going to be something that I'm going to be working on. Okay. So is this uh, the right test for me, the wrong test for me? You guys will obviously have to take these practice tests for yourself to see how it is. And, but the thing is, for you guys, I think it's an enormous opportunity, okay? Whether you are the international students or whether you are American students or waiting till 2024. And let me tell you why. When the new SAT came out in 2016, right? 2016 March, that's when it came out. A um, lot of the students scored worse in the beginning. And College Board was actually worse at making the new format because they weren't used to it, to the fact that they actually um, redacted a couple of tests that were released in the early days, okay? So that means people are going to be struggling because this is new, right? Pretty common sense. But if you guys start preparing right now, right, with this channel, I'm going to be delving really deep into the uh, digital SAT. You guys are going to have a, such an advantage because SAT is graded on a curve, okay? So if everybody was here, now they're going to be here and you guys get to be afloat. That's the whole point. It's a competition. So regardless of your learning style, if you guys are studying right now, you guys are starting and you have time to do either the 2023 or 2024, I would highly recommend you hop on the new SAT, okay? Because our channel's honestly not that large right now. I wish it was bigger, right? There aren't going to be pretty much anybody else who's doing the new SAT specialized like this, okay? So I'm going to be devoting my time to it. And my whole thing is I want to help as many people as possible, especially my subscribers though, right? Because y'all are close to me. There are free resources out there on Khan Academy, okay? So do, do feel very, very free to use that. And I'm gonna be specializing even more beyond that because people at Khan Academy, they're actually great, they're great, but they haven't been specializing in test taking as much as I have. It's now 15 years, it's the new year, right? So yeah, it's an enormous opportunity to stand out where everybody is struggling, okay? And the skills that they're testing here, honestly, I do like how they made it in terms of the variety of skills. It could be helpful for college as well, okay? So today's quick and dirty wasn't that quick and dirty. It's an enormous new topic that we're introducing, and I'm pretty excited to be doing this. I had, believe it or not, I had fun writing these tests as well. So the quick and dirty series that are going to be coming up, or even the long and deep, are going to delve into the new question types on the um, SAT digital. And even if you're not an international student, you're American, 
2024. I think that's still worth going for, even if you're sophomore or junior. And honestly, why are they, oh, if you guys care, why are they doing internationally first? My personal speculation, they're trying to work out all the um, specifications internationally first before they tackle the main market of the United States. So, but it's a very, very irresistible movement. It's all gonna go digital, so that's going to happen. And please, please, please um, leave any questions about the new SAT or even individual questions like, Jay, I am this type of student. Should I take the ACT? Should I take the SAT? I'll get back to you guys on that as well. Okay. And yeah, that's about it for um, today's video. So um, yeah, I'm going to be getting right on that with especially, especially the new questions at the end with the research stuff. That's going to be an entirely new field even for me to tackle. Pretty excited about that because I'm a nerd, right? We'll all be nerds together. Study every day with Sexy J. A lot of big things coming, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.